No talk uh, about quality management would be complete without talking about Edwards Deming. He is probably the most famous, uh, quite possibly because uh, he made a lot of noise, uh, but um, he seemed to have the most effect. He was a professor of statistics and he was uh, trying to get uh, the US manufacturers to take notice of him uh, prior to the Second World War and even just basically during the Second World War. But it, it wasn't the popular message in the US at the time. Uh, the US uh, at the time were producing uh, more goods and tended to be uh, better products than anyone else. So, you know, why are you winning? Why should you listen? It happened that he also uh, helped with the US Census and uh, it was in this capacity that the occupation forces in Japan asked him to come to Japan and help them out with running the census in Japan, which he did. But he also uh, found that his thoughts on quality management were listened to well and were quite popular in Japan. So of course he stayed there where he was being listened to and uh, respected. Um, he, he assisted the Japanese industry to get better. And of course uh, when the Japanese manufacturers started encroaching on the U.S. markets, the U.S. started to take notice of uh, what Deming had to say. Uh, he returned to the U.S. Uh, my understanding is that he was about 80 at the time when he returned. And of course, um, he was an old man. Uh, although he certainly still had a lot to say, he was... Um, uh, he did not indulge the Americans, put it that way. Uh, he, he had some quite strong views and at this age he expressed them um, quite a lot. There are uh, a number of um, videos of Edwards Deming on YouTube, so if you're interested, uh, look them up. They can be quite instructive. Now he wrote a book uh, called Out of Crisis in which he uh, outlined his principles of management. And there were 14 principles of management that were largely um, uh, go through that uh, what management ought to do, which was essentially that they should decide what it is they're going to do, decide what the manufacturing, um, and uh, stick to it. Um, they have to involve the entire company. You can't uh, have some politically motivated um, do as I say, not as I do. It has to be um, quite open and uh, quite spread throughout the organization. Now, as I say, there, have, there were uh, 14 principles of uh, management. You can read them up in detail in um, Out of Crisis if you want, um, because, as I say, I won't uh, repeat them all here. But he also had seven deadly sins to contrast his um, principles. And these, you'd, you'd recognize them now as, as patterns, which were the principles, and anti patterns were the seven deadly sins. Now, the first among the seven deadly sins were inconstancy of purpose. That is, management's inconstancy. If management decides we're going to have quality today and tomorrow it's inconvenient because we've suddenly got a crisis on our hand and we need to shift the money around the place, that won't work. That just is going to produce chaos. Uh, an emphasis on short-term profits, um, that will just destroy uh, quality every time. I mean, one easy way to uh, sabotage a project is simply take the budget away and take the people away. Uh, evaluation uh, by performance, merit rating, or annual review of performance. Uh, he thought that was a, a bad thing to do. Uh, mobility of management, so shifting, shifting management around. Uh, he thought that was not a, bad, not a good thing to do. Uh, running a company on the visible figures alone. Um, this, I guess, many people would recognize is, is that uh, although um, organizations have to run on, on um, figures and statistics and measures, you have to always be very careful that uh, the measures are adequate and convey sufficient of the information. Um, in, in contrast to a lot of Western companies, um, a lot of uh, the Japanese companies do emphasize um, going to the market, uh, going to the Genma, the Genma they call it, to, to um, examine ex exactly what is going on. Never mind what the data uh, are telling you, what actually, what, what did the data mean? Um, he thought that excessive medical costs uh, were a problem and excessive warranties um, were, were a particular problem as well. 
So although his, his 14 principles are quite famous, uh, and his seven deadly sins are quite famous, and they make very good reading, uh, his, his uh, teachings and uh, theories on um, process-centered total quality management are really where his major contribution to quality management was. So that was uh, Edward Deming, probably the more famous of the uh, contributors to total quality management.